Hi, everyone. I'm here today with Wanda Keenan, who is not only a nurse, but is my cousin. <laughs> How are you doing, Wanda? I'm doing wonderful. I'm doing absolutely wonderful. Thank Great. you very much. So we're here today at Miramichi Naturopathic Clinic. So Wanda, just introduce yourself maybe and tell them what you do here yeah. at the clinic. Um, of course, Wanda Keenan. Um, I've been here at the Naturopathic Clinic for the last 14 years. I'm the nurse here on staff. We do a little bit of everything here. I won't go deep into that because it's a lot. <laughs> So it's wonderful having Wanda here, and uh, I've been spending my Wednesdays seeing patients in person at the Miramichi Naturopath Clinic with Dr. Crystal Charest. And um, so Wanda and I go back a long time, like when we were like babies, kids. <laughs> like playing hopscotch. <laughs> <laughs> Across the tracks from each other. <laughs> oh, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Tiffany and I, we've connected on so many different levels. It's just absolutely. So I'm absolutely honored to be one of her speakers. <laughs> I'm so happy to have her here because Wanda, you know, she sees a lot of people coming into the clinic and she shares so much of her own personal story. And so I just wanted to ask today as part of this week of Healthy Habits Challenge, what are three things for you, Wanda, that have really kind of made a difference to kind of tip the scale yeah. in terms of your health and your life? Well, <laughs> that goes deep. Um, a big thing for me is I went through a terrible, stressful time in my life. I went through a a, a bad divorce, a hard divorce on me. Um, so then it set my body into the fight or flight mode. I absolutely had no idea what was going on with me, right? So through time and through healing and a lot of self-help, and I basically realized, okay, stop. We got to stop. It's going to stop somewhere. I need to put myself first. I have to figure out my body and understand my body. So living alone for four years and not knowing who I was as a person, as Wanda Keenan, because I was always the mom, the wife, the grandmother, I took time to say, okay, what is different? What can I change about me? So basically what I do now is every day before I even, well, I have to go pee as soon as I get out because I'm getting older now. But honestly, I do what I call a, a body scan, a, a day scan, if that's what you want to call it. I ask for guidance throughout the day. I ask for protection. I ask for the answers to help heal my patients. I love what I do. I love my patients. And sometimes just sharing my silly, crazy story of my life can actually trigger something for somebody else and help somebody else. So loving yourself is so important. And that is such a key. Like we beat ourselves up over things that are so minimal in life but when you look at the big picture at the time it's life-changing so putting yourself first is top priority self-love there's no other way around it you have to love yourself figure your body out I try personally I try once a month to do a body scan on myself so in the morning I'll get I'll just lay in bed and I'll I'll just ask for white light to go through my body and remove any negative energy that's in there. Be it my I start at the head and I do a head to toe totally on my body and I just feel the energy and the love going through. And I ground myself a lot because I'm around a lot of patients. I'm an empath. I pick up a lot of energy and it's just so important to understand your body. This may not be for everybody. And my gosh, if I miss a month, I miss a month. It's this is like habit forming. Don't beat yourself up when you fall off the habit, right? It's it's just a, a journey that we're on together. And again, self-love, top priority, hard to do. But once you do it, you'll realize your, your self-worth is so much more than anything. And it's such an important key. And I come back to it again and again. And I want to express it in such an amazing way today. And that's where healing begins, because if we can't connect to our body, if we're not aware of what's going on, then how can we expect our body to respond in a loving and kind way? Absolutely. Yeah. So very wonderfully said, Wanda. So Thank true. you. You're welcome. And I think my second thing, uh, Tiff, would be, oh, wow, hormones. Holy Hannah, baby. <laughs> they were all over the place. Absolutely all over the place. Of course, with my fight or flight in full force, my cortisol levels, which is your stress hormones, they were totally off. 
So then I decided to do some further testing, saliva hormone, which come back and basically told my exact hormones and the levels that I was at. So now I'm on a journey <laughs> of supplementation, of basically trying to get everything leveled out so that I feel better. And this is the truth. I was two weeks on to this new protocol that I'm on. And I was cleaning out cupboards and I was like washing down walls. <laughs> like, oh, I didn't even recognize myself. We let our bodies go, sadly, so far that we forget what it's like to feel good. And once you start to feel good, we burn it out like that. <laughs> so we got to slow things down and try to figure your hormones out. Thankfully, Tiffany, you're a true blessing to all of us because I know it's it's a touchy subject and a lot of people, I mean, work is sorry, but working here at the clinic personally, like there was women that would come in and they're all over the place, but I get you. I understand you, right? It can be anything from your nervous system, from your sex drive. It can be like, um, it's just numerous amount of things that go wrong with us. My big thing was uh, say whatever come out of my mouth, no filters, mm -hmm. like, holy. And then I go home at night feeling bad because I thought I'd hurt somebody. Don't mm -hmm. just be you. And this is the top topic that is hard for some women to discuss, but to have a field. And I mean, I know a lot of men as well. I'm not just saying women. I see a lot of men that'll have like a lot of issues that will do saliva hormone testing for the testosterone, you know, like there's just so much getting your hormones, getting a true test to find out where you're at, it, especially as you get older. Yeah, hormones are a big part of the picture. And we do have testing, so saliva testing and blood testing as well, depending yeah. on the situation and the time of life where you're at when you're having your cycle. That's absolutely yeah. right. Absolutely. And I think um, another thing is, is gut health. Oh, huge. So huge. Um, I don't know much about gut health. That's why I have Tiffany, but I do notice like with changing, like my eating, getting away from the sugars, I, I was at one point drinking, I know five to six cups of coffee a day, but that was my filler. I didn't have to eat if I drank mm -hmm. my coffee, but little did I know it was, it was doing the opposite for me. So I'm down to like one, maybe two cups of coffee a day. Um, and I just find I feel better. I really feel better. And watching the foods that I, the low sugar, I have a really good uh, supplement that I take for that. It just helps. And I can feel the inflammation going down in my body. And it just, it's an amazing feeling, really. Yeah, yeah, the gut is central, such a central part to everything. Absolutely. You know, so this has been, yeah. So I wanted to touch on the, the big three, actually the big one. <laughs> if there's really one theme this week, it's self-love. Yes. It does start there. But if you're not ready for that, because it can take us a while before <laughs> we realize how important we are. Okay. Yes. But if you want to start with your hormones or if you want to start with your gut, then those are really good ways to begin. Absolutely. And I just want to add something. <laughs> So getting from all of this, I think it's so important because I'm just that average person, right? I think it's so important that when you fall off of your habit, when you stray away from your habit, please don't beat yourself up. Just say, okay, I got to get back into my routine. I have to get going again. It's so funny because um, just a, a quick story, the gym, like I started the gym a few years ago and even the word, the name, Jim, it just, oh. so then I heard this week uh, through one of the discussions, they called it movement. And I'm like, oh, my land, I'm not going to call it the gym anymore. I'm going to call it my movement practice because that has a better, it just fits well with me. Like to hear Jim, it just kind of like, oh, I don't want to be sweaty. I don't want to be hot. I just, I'm tired. I worked all day. There's not an excuse I didn't make. So help me. There isn't. So those little things, journaling, again, every day I journal, it's just started this week. Oh, yeah, just started this week. Um, so the first thing I do is I write down something positive. Could be gratitude, one word, gratitude. Sun is shining, rainy, cold, whatever. But then I go and I put my my movement, what I did for movement. I, I not, I'm nonstop here at the clinic. I'm going all the time. But it's not the same because my mind is not connecting with my movement. 
when I'm maybe on a treadmill or out, outside in nature walking, I can focus more on me, my body as a soul. Remember, our body is just a vehicle for the soul and the spirit mm -hmm. that's in there. Thank you so much. Oh, I'm so glad Wanda was <laughs> with us today. And if you want to see Wanda, so she, you're based here at the Miramichi Naturopath Clinic. Yeah. Um, so Wanda does a lot of different types of treatments. She does nutritional therapy as well. I do yeah. laser for weight loss, quit smoking, stress. It's no needles. It's all laser. It's, oh yeah. If you just want to come in and get a hug. I can always use a hug. <laughs> it's a great place to be at. We have so much fun. When yeah. we're here. And I think you're all going to have great takeaways from Wanda and her yeah. message for us today. Thank you so much, Tiffany, you're for welcome. having me. It's a true honor to be part of your team. Okay, I love thanks. you. You too. <laughs> Bye, everyone. Bye, guys.